Hope you're all still awake. Late Night Mega here. And if we talk to the captain again, well, he says this. He says to ask the Dock Master. Now, aren't you the Dock Master? Yep. Talks about Brett. We've kind of figured this out last time, what has happened. Worst poker player in history, so, uh... Yeah, so naturally he decides to gamble away the sea chart, of all things. How did they come up with this plot? Okay, well, clearly we need to win this back. Yep. Well, I guess we will. I guess heads or tails. Um, heads. Hmm. We'll try heads again. Tails? So we are actually losing money in this, but, uh... Yeah, Ramus notices something. Of course he is, because he's been, uh, he's kind of known as, like, the con artist. Um, if you're a gambler and you haven't lost within 20 years, that's usually the sign of cheating. Your idea of fun, Ramus. Allowances, we got this money from killing monsters. We make an honest living in JRPGs. What about you? Um... Ramus? What are you doing? Of course, Ramus has a plan. <laughs> oh no. How would you know the coin is fake? What how well, I guess he is obsessed with money and food. You naughty, beastly boy. Well, we got our money back. Well, I guess for once I'm glad to have Ramus. Yeah, really? Oh, I just want to stab you in the face now. Ninny, ninny, dumb, dumb, poopy. <laughs> uh, like I said, the dialogue at times is it's so lighthearted and so silly. And, well, there we go. North. Did I say northeast last time? Oh dear, I got my east and west mixed up. Yeah, I meant Northwest, so uh, everyone who's yelling at me in the comment section on the last part, it's, it's like the first time I've ever made a mistake in an LP, ever. You can trust me on that. I had a, I had a professor in college. Anytime that he made a mistake or wrote a wrong number and someone pointed it out, he's always like, oh, tsk tsk, that's the first mistake I've ever made. <laughs> It's really funny when uh, he tried to say that both time or twice in in one uh, class. Uh, he was a fun guy. Okay, uh, uh, we're in 
dungeon evil mode. Ooh, treasure. Um, that's not the kind of treasure I want. There's beetles. All right, let's fight the beetles. As long as they don't try to attack us with music, we'll be okay. Okay, they're mutant dance. Uh, no, we don't want to do that. Uh, what is this? Oh. Fortify Friend Cascade Song. I believe that will boost um, one ally's attack power. And I forget how strong the ants are, so I'm just going to put Ramus on the same ant as well. Nope, nope. He can, uh, Alex can take him out. I mean, it takes both his attacks, but he can do it. Oh! Ants are weak to sleep. Good to know. Oh, wow, and they don't have a ton of health either. Oh, I... Sorry, I skipped through that uh, a little quickly. Got an herb. All right, we'll fight the uh, flies that spawned. Although these are killer flies, and what are they doing? Do they, like, start off confused or something? We're actually faster than them. Okay, not confused, but I'm confused. And we got a nice amount of silver there. We will need to start building it back up, because when we get to uh, Moribia and to Vane, we're going to spend a ton of money again. Mantle wrapper? I... It, let's, let's just try and put them to sleep. Okay, Alex can take out one there. Well, half of them went down. Maybe she's getting better with that uh, Temptation song because of her level. And Alex can take down the sleeping ones in one hit. Or he can take down that one, I and mean, that's fine too. I mean, we're hardly taking damage here, and part of it is due to Luna's Temptation song. Didn't I say I wasn't going to use that anymore? Well, I guess when you're staring down five or six new enemies with uh, only three characters, it kind of becomes an appealing option. Well, that fly isn't confused. Oh, killer sting, that hurt. I'm poisoned. I mean, Alex is one-shotting those, and I mean, like, literally one-shotting, so we can get, like, a two-for-one on him. Adding an extra attack to, uh, to him, that was really great. Starlight, you could just barely see the corner of that treasure there, so uh, make sure you don't miss it. Three mutant ants. Well, there's only three, so... May as well go all out here. Okay, they must have exactly 20 HP, because 20 killed him and 19 didn't. And Ramus can't go that far. This is kind of why I was considering buying him that uh, bow. Now we're going to want to heal up Alex after this. Oh, and Alex got another level. Nice. And he learned Explosion Staff. And Ramus got a level. Nobody cares. Alright, so we have... We have stuff to make... Wow, we have items. Why, 
Why do you always have so many items? Why do you have the Dragon Diamond? Can't give away the Ocarina. Uh, what do we do with that? Before I forget to do what I initially set out to do, let's do that. And then let's take a look at that, uh... Cane. It looks like we can give it to Luna. And it's equipment. Uh, wow. That increases her luck. But I don't think this is a distanced attack, so... We're gonna try it out. See what comes of it. We have a giant bee. Are you serious? Again with this? You guys are getting obnoxious. We also have Explosion Staff. This, uh, okay, easy. It stands for Enemy Zone. I'm only 80% sure that that's what it actually stands for. So, if we select it, notice it only hits one, it only hits... Okay, so it doesn't have that huge of a uh, attack radius. Now, can't use the item in battle. Well, let's see if we can just attack with it. Again, Alex is going to kill half the things before anything really happens. Ouch. Yeah, I don't... I want her to be able to launch arrows. Although the additional luck will probably help with getting that, um... Now oh, we got Tranquil Song. And we're getting all sorts of new abilities today. Uh, that's another reason I show off all the random battles. Oh, we can heal all of our friends! AA stands for All Allies. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna cure him up. I just don't want dumb things to happen. And it very easily can happen here. Yeah, she can one-shot the bees with... Yeah, those bees. I'm sure I missed something uh, to the south, but I'm not super worried about it. If you're wondering why, it's because we're going to be coming back through this area again. Yeah, that's one thing about this game, is we can't... That hornet scares me! That is a hornet, right? Oh gosh, killer wasp. Okay, let's see if this uh, pressure attack... It can't hit more than one enemy. Um, I guess let's just see how we do here. You go after that bee, you go after that bee. Okay, Alex can take them down. Ow! And Luna's poisoned. And we're okay. Yeah, Alex having that second attack really, really helps. I can't stress that enough. I remember when I first played this game, like, as soon as I felt that the game was starting to get hard, um, I got to level 9 and got that second attack, and I'm like, okay, this is now much more manageable. By the way, if you're not healing in in battle, use just the healing song, because as you can see, to heal all three of us, it would cost 12 MP versus 15 so, a little more efficient to do things that way. Okay, fine, I'll go to the north. Uh, yeah, so let's all gather around it. You were saying? Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> you order a... Can I smack him? Leave him there. Ha, <laughs> thank you, Ramus. Can you not just, like, flip it over or something? The music here is kind of, uh, cheery. Luna always being the downer of our fun. Oh, please be joking. Hey there, kitties. My name is Nash. I'm a level three apprentice from the famous magic city of Bane that floats around the goddess tower. The area around the sea hat's house can be a little tricky, so be sure to watch your step around here, okay? You're one to talk. This guy seems like a pompous fruitcake already. Yes, it probably would kill him. Oh, great. Oh, Apprentice to Galleon. Okay. So, how did you end up falling for this trap in all of your greatness? Mm-hmm. Yeah, a likely story. We don't have any manners. Can I smack him yet? Can he be our first boss battle? Luna, don't be nice to him. No, no, it, why, why? I don't want him with us. Yeah. Protecting beautiful women and simpletons. Well, smacking smug little douchebags is uh, my duty. <laughs> Thank you, no. Uh, yeah, that, that would be Luna. Oh, use the sleeping song. Make him go to sleep. Yeah, he bugs me, too. Uh, in all seriousness, Nash is one of our party members. Let's show what he can do. He has thunder magic. It hits an enemy zone. And it's a thunder... Oh, it's thunder bomb. Thunder bomb. Um, it has quite a nice range, as you'll see. And there's stone, which also hits an enemy zone, but it's a much smaller zone. And I don't think I use it that much. Although I say that, now I'm going to start spamming it on camera like I was spamming a uh, Temptation song earlier. Oh, I thought this was a monster at first. <laughs> uh. There we go. Got into the house. Okay, these poor chickens are getting in my way. Ah! There we go. Oh, one thing I can do is I can pass the fortune cane over to Nash. Oh, splash magic. It, splash magic? Well, that increases his... Yeah, never mind. We'll keep him with the water cane. Um, creepy. 
Yes, I want the C chart. Uh, I'll part with Nash. Does that count? No, actually, I need him for his magic. The water cane? No, I just... It... Um... Uh, Ramus, um, you know what, just for kicks, because I'm sure this is going to be hilarious. <laughs> yeah, this is, uh, very convincing. And, of course, Nash, with his ego, uh, goes back to arguing about that trap. Try again, Ramus? <laughs> Okay, so the game does make you uh, have Luna. <laughs> I want to see those two go at it again. Besides, Nash, don't you need to get over to Maribia to get back to Vane where, you know, you should be studying? Although I must have, well, one thing I will say, his hairstyle fits him, and it is kind of a neat and unique hairstyle that isn't just completely over the top. I wanted the water cane. It was going to do splash magic. Can we just kill her and get the cane back? Okay, well, we want her to feel safe. So, yeah, that fortune staff... I guess you get it now. And, oh, uh, we have another... A frog! No, there are no frogs in this game. No, no frogs. This is a nightmare frog-free land. Uh, well, you know what? It's going to end up in there if it doesn't get out of my way. Get out of my way! Dotard chickens. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's, that's unfortunate. In the PSP version, I believe the woman actually gives you, ends up giving you a cane that, yeah, yeah I forgot about this guy. All right, well, let's show off some of uh, Nash's magic here. Thunderbomb. You can see it has quite a decent range. It doesn't hit everything. Well, it can hit everything depending on how much the uh, enemies are grouped together. So we're going to put it right there. Nash is pretty quick. So, uh, yeah, that was very effective. And the red means it's really effective against those hornets, which is good, because those are freakishly big hornets. Um, although... Nash, you really... Wow. We got a lot for that. Uh, I am going to change tactics here. She's fine, he's fine. Yeah, Nash, you can come to the back and just kind of be... Yeah, you stay as far away from Luna as you can. Put a hand out. Ooh. Oh, this is not better. 
But yeah, don't be afraid of spamming uh, Nash's Thunder spell. That's what it's there for. He has the MP to do it too. Although, um. Wait, what the? Mia's bromide? Nash's treasure? Uh. We have robe, iron bracelet, bandana. Uh, everything except that last thing seems to make sense. Yeah, I'm not gonna use his magic here. Now, typically in RPGs, I generally don't use. I generally try to conserve magic in battles. But, uh, in this game I learned that, well, you really want Nash to be casting those spells fairly often. Like here. Nash makes these battles much easier. So yeah, just to show you the, uh, stone. Yeah, see, stone does not have as big of a range as the thunder bomb. So, stick with the Thunder Bomb. Kind of a neat uh, layout, or neat attack as well. Let's see, and we'll finish off this other battle, because, well, he wants some too. Now, in the PSP version, I think Nash's Thunder Bomb starts off doing more damage, but I think they also, like, completely reconfigured all of the enemies' HP and stats and all that. It could also just be partly my imagination. But I don't know, I remember his Thunder Bomb doing, like, 40 to 50 to every enemy in this forest. Alright, so we're going to heal up, and we'll finish exploring this forest on our way back. And, um... Yeah, I'll probably show that off, just to show more of Nash doing stuff. And to show off any treasures we have missed, because I'm pretty sure I missed at least one.